of followers and not followers or people who just ended up on our site as real as you by accident or mistake or somebody just played a joke on you. Uh, today it's a day for me to actually start parting away with my toy. Every man has a toy. I have a couple of them. That's one of them. And here is a 1975 uh, Corvette Stingray. Uh, it's a big hat, 350. I will show you later on. And the reason why I'm parting away, it's not because it's a bad car. It's an absolutely amazing car. It's just uh, I'm 62. And if people who doesn't uh, drive the Corvette or never own one, and especially the older ones, uh, when you're 62, it's not most comfortable car for you. So you have to be about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, and it will work perfect, but 6'2", it's kind of like, and especially when you have so many ho horsepower under the hood, it's not safe. You just don't feel the road, and it's a crazy car. This car used to be owned by one of the guys, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know his name, uh, but he was in racing, so he did some modifications to the car, then it was so architect was sitting in a garage for about six years and I purchased three years ago. It was purchased for no particular reason. Every single, in my opinion, purchase for cars like that or motorcycles, it's an impulse. And here's a few interesting things about not specific, not this specific car, but it's about uh, Chevy Corvette in general. The first Corvette was ever made was in 1953 and it was actually made in our uh, neighboring state, Michigan and it was a plant in Flint. But 1954, they moved, uh, they moved the plant. The guy who designed the car, he uh, originally called the Corvette not Stingray or Corvette, it was Project Opel, after the German manufacturers. I don't know why, but that would happen. Uh, name Corvette came after the 17th century warship, and that's official statement. Uh, also, Corvette was the first commercial car uh, ever built from the fiberglass. So it was the first production car. And when uh, designers were uh, trying to make the production for a car, uh, they tried to make the car in the average of $2,000 as a sell price. Uh, and end of the day, the first car was basic price was 3500 bucks, which is if you're going to convert in our money, it's going to be about 33, 35 thousand dollars, which is a really affordable price <laughs> back in the 50s and even right now for this type of cars. Uh, not this particular car, but I'm giving you a slight story about the actual Corvette uh, in general. Uh, original 1953 Corvette was uh, having the big resemblance with the Jaguar XK120. Reason why? Because the Harley Earl, and that's the designer of the car, he was inspired by the Jaguar. Also, for your information, uh, if I believe 1963 or 1968 Corvette uh, ha held the record for highest speed on 0 to 60 miles. Uh, with the new engine, it was 2.8 seconds, 0 to 60 miles, and uh, it was, I think they're still holding this record. If I, I could be mistaken, I'm not really a big car guy, I'm just a history guy. I like to read the history, so I believe uh, 2.8 seconds, 
it still holds. Corvette was used uh, 13 times uh, in uh, Indianapolis 500 racing, uh, and I think they hold the record. So it's a 13 times over the time they use the same car. Also, the Chevy give uh, three Corvettes to the three astronauts after they come back from uh, space. Obviously, it was a promotional, uh, but still, they love the car, and it is a beautiful car. And I hate to say it, I'm parting away. Uh, and let me show you a little bit more about this car. So obviously, it's a convertible. It is hard top comes with the car that's a soft top but it works so as I said I'm I like cars but I ju I'm just a guy so I was told and I could be wrong that's a 350 big hat so it's kind of biggest engine for 1975 available back then and from my own experience it's extremely powerful car. Uh, when I was changing the interior, I did ask uh, mechanical mechanic guys uh, to actually downrate the uh, transmission because it was going like a crazy. I couldn't handle it. So now it's back to almost back to the manufacturer specs, but it's still it's more powerful when it came uh, than it came from. So also, it's another beauty of this car. Here we go. You just pop this out. You take this out, this out, this out. Here we go. As you see, I installed, not me personally, but it was installed by the mechanics. I did put the surround system with the Bluetooth, I mean, for safety and obviously for better sound because I like good sound. So we... And here is your convertible version. And it sounds obviously amazing. It does have a lot of power. Yeah, my dog is going crazy. He loves car more than I do. Lucky, shut up! So here is the car. If Lucky, stop! So, pretty much, if anybody has interest, this car will be available as of tomorrow. And hopefully it's going to be gone uh, within a week or so because I'm waiting for my 1968 uh, Continental with suicidal doors. That's more like a my size car. It's not because I like the car or I don't like another car. It's just, you know, I like comfort. I'm not getting any younger. So, and plus, you know, you have about eight feet in front of you and it's eight feet of life. So thank you everybody for watching. Once again, you're on as real as you, and it's Victor, and here it's Corvette Stingray, and it can be yours. Send us email, send us an inquiry, and we're gonna be in contact with you.